Hello, in this tutorial we will be I will be showing you how to make a flood fill pathfinding system. Uh, this will be done with p5.js in in JavaScript. And um, uh, I expect that you know uh, the basics of, of programming, so for loops, arrays, uh, if statements, variables, and th th that type of stuff. But you don't need to be very advanced. Okay. Um, in this, in this, the first episode, I'm not actually going to start doing it. I'm just going to show you uh, basically how it works and uh, what and like an example of what we're going to be making. So this is going to be made. This is not going to be made in Java, but I just have um, the version that's made in Java. So this is just to show it to you. Um, so this is what we're going to be making. So um, here we have the pathfinding, and we have our these white things are the things that f follow you around. Uh, but right now they're locked up. The black things are walls. And so um, so this is flood fill. So what it means is that. You see how the farther away from your mouse it is, the more like pinkish it becomes. Uh, this symbolizes the distance it is from, and I'm going to show you how that is ca calculated very soon. But what these things do basically is they they just try to they just follow the path with the least distance, and they will follow you around, and they work very well actually. They're ba basically perfect. The, actually, they are perfect. Uh, this is not the most efficient way of doing pathfinding, um, but it is a very good way. It, it's an easy way to, it's like a be be beginner way of doing it. So, yeah, so now I'm going to explain to you how it works. Okay, so here, wait, let me just change the line of code. Okay. Just one second. Okay, here it is. So, um, you see, the these numbers uh, signify the distance from the mouse or from the position you're trying to get to. So your your mouse spawns ones all all ar ar around itself, and then those ones spawn twos, and those twos spawn threes, so on and so forth. And that's basically all it's doing until it fills up the whole map, or it gets to a dead end. You see, um, in the places that are completely dark blue, there's uh, the val there there isn't a there there's the value n negative two, and that um, that means it wasn't reached. And so this is why those um, these wh those white things over there are not moving because they there's nowhere to move. What they're just trying to do is, based on their current tile value, they're just going to try to find the po least possible value around them. They're just going to do that every time. And so eventually they're going to reach your mouse. So, yeah. Okay, so in the next tutorial, we will be actually starting to make this in JavaScript.